Yeah. If you can just give us a sort of 20 second flavor about the event and what value this event brings to the community. Yeah, well the conference has been an uh, amazing opportunity for military practitioners from all over uh, the Western world, many NATO nations in particular, to come together with manufacturers, with folks from industry, with the representatives from the fields of science and technology to discuss the, la the latest developments in armoured vehicles and how we're going to employ them in the future. And of course the challenge that we're facing at the moment is from uh, a resurgent Russia and the need to get hybrid deterrence in place, part of which is from the land power uh, community and within that from the armoured vehicle community. Uh, and we also need to deal with ongoing threats uh, from Islamist extremism, from the various causes of instability around the world. So our armed forces are faced with the need to do everything from joined up, all arms, war fighting, through high-end counterinsurgency and stabilization, through to humanitarian assistance, peace support operations, um, capacity building and training. A huge range of tasks and we need armored vehicles that fit all those needs. And here's the place where we discuss it, where we learn about the latest developments and where people can formulate their ideas to take back to their own armies. In terms of some of the flavors in the conference, just about sort of 10 seconds or 15 seconds on that, if you could just touch on some of the, uh, the keynotes or that we've seen in the last few days. Well, I think a very important point that came out of the last uh, presentation from Major General Carl Engelbrecht. Yeah, yeah. Start again. There was a crossover. Okay. I think uh, one of the very important points that came out of just the last uh, presentation was when we're talking about all arms, combined arms uh, warfare, we need scale, we need formations that operate at the national level, ideally at brigade level, um, although for some groups of nations they can operate below that level. And we need to be aware of learning false lessons from Afghanistan where multinationality was carried to a much lower level and very successfully, but in a totally different environment where the maneuver was more conceptual than physical. Yeah. If we could just touch on the contribution this morning, very briefly. Um, I've forgotten his name. The American Mick show. Nicholson. Yeah. If you could just touch on that very briefly. Yeah, well, General Nicholson came and gave us a tour de force on the current situation in Afghanistan. I think very clear to the audience here was the central place of protected mobility of armored vehicles to allow uh, the police, the Afghan armed forces to maneuver around the battlefield, to do their business, to get up alongside the population and to be protected doing so. All right. Thank you.